In today's video, we pit Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters against Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. What's up guys, we're back with another versus video and this one should be a lot of fun because I have some fan favorites. I have 10 packs of Legendary Collection 2, the Duel Academy years, which are always really fun. There's a lot of value in these. And then I have 10 blisters of Legendary Collection packs, which is gonna be pretty crazy. I have a variety of all six of them. So there's gonna be a lot of different ones. We have, uh, you know, an LLB pack. We have all the cards behind there, which could have a ghost rare. It's happened to me before. You've never seen it on camera, but when it happens, it's gonna be amazing. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this promo pack from Legendary Collection 2. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which side you think will win, Legendary Collection GX or the Legendary Collection packs. All right, let's start it off. We have 10 packs of each. Not a lot of packs, like in general, but these all pack a punch, so there's gonna be a score. Let me know which one you think will win. We're gonna have all the totals up on the screen to see which one's gonna pull it off. I think Legendary Collection GX has an advantage. Uh, I did, I'm not giving them any promo values. I open them up ahead of time because they already have a huge advantage, but these extra cards might help with the Legendary Collection packs because in here, there's like, you know, multiple foils, like Clear World, you know, we got a super. Then we got a secret rare Shining Phoenix of Forces. We've already got value. It's a great start. Miracle Fusion, that's a great card. And then Destiny Hero Defender. So there's just a lot of good cards. Stratos is a few bucks. Scarab and Grave Squirmer. So there's just so many good cards you can pull. Legendary Collection GX is already on the board. All right, for the Legendary Collection, blister packs i'm gonna do we're gonna open these one at a time because these extra cards might actually matter for this battle in terms of the value if we can pull anything good there's usually nothing good but occasionally you can pull something good that's interesting how they turned it around there oh we got a ddd wave high king caesar sometimes these are worth something it's code of the duelist so i don't think it is but we'll have to see and then a Sagna, Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. That's just a regular rare. So any good commons in here? Guard Dragon Justicia, Necro, Evil Swarm, Thanatos. So it doesn't look like it. Nothing too crazy there. All right, after that, we have Dark Crisis. So the Dark Crisis pack, uh, Skill Drain, not as great of a rare anymore because it got a lot of reprints, but it's still a pretty good rare. So if we could pull that. We could also pull a foil, the same pack as that. So it could be crazy. There's a common, I think the Final Countdown. I think it's under a dollar now, unfortunately, but it used to be a dollar. We can check that. It may be a caught up. Guardian Chaos, Kelbeck, Arsenal Summoner. We have Dark Scorpion Combination, Wrong Rare, and Frozen Soul. They also have Tsukiyomi, which is like a $5 rare, so that's a good card as well. Okay, so at this point, Legendary Collection 2 has a massive advantage, but these are some of my favorite videos to do involving like little, you know, battles between packs to see you could pull it off. Double Dude, we have Marine Neos. That could actually be worth something. I'm not sure. Prisma is a good card for Elemental Heroes. The Dreadmaster Super Rare. Nice. Nice. Banish of the Radiance. I know that this is pretty decent, so that's a good secret rare. And then we have a Rainbow Dragon. I don't think this is actually a dollar, but cool card. It's a very gx -y card. So since we are doing GX versus dual monsters, I mean, that has to count for something. Next up, we have a banger, Invasion of Chaos. So of course, you guys know the 25th anniversary is coming out soon. And uh, we're going to be opening a lot of these old school packs. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we should have a discount code coming out soon. It's probably out by the time you guys see this. I need to follow up about that. We should have a discount code for pre-orders. Invasion of Chaos. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to do that. We're going to be able to open a ton of packs, you know, a lot more than usual with these legacy packs. I think everyone should be excited. You know, if you're like wanting to open these packs, they're going to be affordable for everybody. Primal Fair, we have Cannonball Spear, Grand Maju, Sea Serpent. We got a Rage Battle Ox and we have a Invader of darkness the secret rare that you don't want but we got it the invader of darkness we pulled that guy a lot of times in this channel on this channel i guess is the right way to say that okay good start so far and we've pulled some good stuff neospatial glow moss i was messing around with this on uh, master duel the other day check out my stream monday wednesday friday around 1 to 2 p.m central every uh you know all those days so go check it out if we're inferno wing we've been doing a lot of streams the quarry that is a nice secret rare White Knight Dragon, that's not a good ultra rare, but still pretty cool looking card. And then, oh, Destiny Hero Dread Servant, also pretty nice looking. But don't worry, we have the Pharaoh's Servant, the Servant of the Pharaoh, Yami Yuki. Let's go, let's see what we can get. Will we pull something epic? Goddess, Squir Skulls, Oracle? I don't know, there's a couple super rares that don't really matter too much. Anything good in here? Oh, Cyber Dragon, I mean, that's cool. Um, OTS 21, and then a Offerings to the Doom from Gold Series 1. Wow, that is a pretty old guard. Let's pull something epic like a Jinzo. One, two, three. It's been a very long time since we pulled like a Jinzo. Oh, I mean, I guess we pulled it. Didn't we pull a first edition one? But I mean, like a like a reprint one. It's been a long time. Spike Bot, Driving Snow, Metal Detector, Seven Completed, Dimension Hole, my first ever rare from a first edition Pharaoh Servant pack, or at least I might have back in the day, but I don't remember it. And then... 
insect imitation. Remember when this got to like five bucks for a while with the bee trooper stuff? I think it was the bee trooper stuff, right? Yeah, it was insane. Legendary Collection 2, back to you. Uh, I think that, uh, have they scored a single point over here on the Legacy Pack side? I mean, that's just, yeah, this, this may or may not be an uneven matchup, but I thought it would be fun anyway. We have Aqua Dolphin, cool. We have Yaichi, Clay Charge, that's pretty nice. Uh, a Rampart Blaster, super rare, we'll take that. Necro Garden, not a bad card. I don't think it's crazy valuable, but it might be a dollar. Uh, Infernal Sniper is one that I almost never see. It's in this pack and I never pull it, so that's interesting. Glow Neos, I think it's like $8, so <laughs> crazy rare right there. Hero Blast and Bristinatrix, so yeah, that was a great rare. That was probably the best card in the pack. Don't worry, Spell Ruler's here. Yeah, we pulled a Secret Rare ironically from this, and I'm pretty sure it's not a dollar, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe we pulled one of the best best rarities, or the best rarity, and we didn't get anything. Number 87, Vision Hero Trinity. I don't know. Maybe those are worth something. Trinity is a decent card. Uh, we got a Romage. Anything good? Brilliant Spears. Return of the Six Samurai. Whoa! Metamorphosis! First edition! Out of a random card! This is money! This might be our first points! Okay, I mean, this is obviously not great condition. Let's call it, like, mod play. I mean... It depends on how bad that is. Wait, does it go through the front? Okay, that's probably mod play then if it doesn't go through the front. Okay, mod play. That's still going to be like 3 or $4. That's a, I mean, a really nice common. We'll take that. That puts them on the board, baby. This ain't over yet. We just need a big pull. Let's go. Let's pull a blue eyes tune dragon right now. Get about a $40 value, I think, for the reprint. It'll be interesting to see what the reprints do to the unlimited price. We have Un Umi Ruka, Metal Fish, Koto Dama, Horn of Light, Twin Long Rods, Numero Dose, Dark Zebra, the Darth Maul. We have UFO Turtle and... Spear Cretan. He's a very Cretan ish. Okay, so that was pretty funny that our best card turned out to be a common. Um, hopefully, that is not the end result, but that is pretty crazy. Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. We have D Counter. Card Ejector. Oh, that was a super rare. Oh, wow. There's our secret rare Flame Wingman. That is a great pull. Okay, we'll take Flame Wingman. And then Gladiator Beast Octavius. Yeah, not as good, but we'll take him. Uh, burst Return. And Card Trooper is a good card as well. I think that. Uh, probably not a dollar, but still a good card for Edison and stuff like that. Okay, we need you to pull something big, Metal Raiders. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna pull it technically, but I need you to have something good that I can pull. Okay, we have a Legendary Knight Hermos. We have a Cavalry, I don't know how to say that. That's too hard, Double Cyclone. Okay, it's the commons. That we, oh, Night Beam, hey, we invested in those. Uh, tuning, I, speaking of that, I need to do a follow-up video on our investment. Maybe we'll do that on Twitch stream soon and you know check in on the prices and stuff like that. So we can, uh, you know, do a little, little follow-up video. That's a fun series that we, you know, spend a thousand bucks on TCG Player. You guys saw the star? Yeah, on the fiber jar. Yeah, the star on the fiber jar. That rhymes. Uh, jellyfish, Skull Knight. We have an Ancient Brain. Feel the pit. Oh, Petit Moth. We had a burp there. That was... I couldn't hold it back. I'm sorry, guys. Petit Moth. There we go. We have a Tremendous Fire. Maybe it was the Petit Moth. They're just like, whoa, it was so exciting. Dragon Piper. We have a Mass Sorcerer and Dana Wisdom. Ancient Brain, feel the pain. We found it. All right, this is the halfway point, and I think Legendary Collection has a pretty big lead at the moment. It's not it's not insurmountable. We just got to pull something big. Gonna do it like this. The Neos, Survivor, Neos Force, Inferno Wing again. Didn't we already pull this? <gasps> Cyber Twin Dragon. That's nice. Secret Rare, and a Future Fusion, a nice Ultra Rare. All right, great pack. And then Elemental Hero, Poison Rose. You don't see that one very often either. And the Elemental Hero, Wild Wingman, Common. Spell Ruler, I believe that you can bring us back. You can pull us a blue eyes toon dragon. It's gonna happen. There's gonna be a ghost rare in these extra cards. Okay, starting off with a sum summer summoner. Okay, that the tongue twister guy. Cyber's clock dragon, damage eater. Not looking too good here for the extra. Oh, Rachuria beans, a little bean toaster. You love to see him in the goblin berg and twin sword marauder. Okay. They're cards. They exist. And now Spell Ruler. Oh, we almost dropped it. Don't worry, because it has a blue eyes tune. It's trying to escape. It doesn't want to be pulled. One, two, three, four, but it will want to be pulled when we're dead. Okay, that sounds weird. Luminous Spark, Course of Sanctuary, Electric Snake, the Jig and Bacadon, Reliable Guardian, Whiptail Crow, Gravekeeper Servant. I hate Gravekeeper Servant. It's very annoying. Uh, the Mother Grizzly and a Psychic Kaba. Four packs left, Legendary Collection 2, here we go. Will we pull a Secret Rare? Deformation, Bubble Man, Clear Vice Dragon, that's a super rare. Cyber Dragon, Alternate Art, this is a nice one, it's about 10 bucks, I think. Phenomenaga, not great, it has a Collector Rare now, and not even that's worth money. Uh, Plasma Vice, that could be worth a couple bucks, I'm not totally sure, but maybe. Speaking of worth a couple bucks, Dark Crisis, are you gonna be worth a couple bucks? Are you gonna be worth no bucks? We'll have to find out. One-Eyed Skilled Gainer, hey look, this is a uh, Special Edition promo? No, oh no, we pulled this out of Abyss rising the other day Ooh, return of the red eyes i wonder if that's any good i think it's from like some sort of deck so probably not but hey it's there gemini summoner mirror force good card tricky we got crush card oh crush card is a common that's pretty cool 
from a melee, a melee, okay. Let's pull some, we need it big time. We need something big, one, two, three, four, because it has been a little bit rough. Will we pull some, oh, battle scarred. It's been so long since we pulled that. Vile Pond, Mustering of the Dark Scorpion, Ray of Hope, the Marin, non-spell casting, Guardian, Cast, Metalizing Parasite, and a Kelbeck. Wow, these are, these are rough. What have we pulled, one foil? That's it. Three packs left, it has been quite the battle. Very interesting, you guys will see. You know, the score right now, and it is not good. We have a uh, Necroid Shaman, nice card. Chamberlain, Destiny Hero Diamond, dude. Gladiator Beast Darius, that is worth about six bucks, I think. And then Lumina, that is somehow not worth a dollar, but hey, it, it's still pretty good. Got Gladiator Beast Respite. This is just a beatdown. This is embarrassing. Three packs left, and yes, we have another Metal Raiders pack. So that will be pack to come. Keep an eye out for that. Let's pull the Ghost Rare out of here. It's going to be amazing. Uh, no Ghost Rare. Okay, didn't happen. Watchdog, I'm still dreaming of that happening again. I was probably a once in a lifetime kind of thing that happened. Unhappy Maiden, even though we open a million packs, it's still not going to happen. Metal Raider, we probably got the only Ghost Rare to ever be put in those extra cards. So I guess I can count myself lucky for that. Thunder Dragon, that's still worth a little bit, I think. Couple bucks. Jirai Gumo, so that, hey, we're adding to the score. It's all common so far. Unhappy Maiden, Empress Judge, the Judge of the Emperors. We have Thunderball, Rainbow Flower, Hoshingen, and a Solemn Judgment! That's a good card that's worth definitely at least $1. Ultra Rare Solemn Judgment, still a good card even to this day. Ha, ah, good pull, a good pull. I was gonna say great and then good, but it's probably probably great actually. All right, two packs left of each. We have at least closed the gap a little bit with that Thunder Dragon and Solemn Judgment pack. Pretty solid pack. I mean, that's that's very good. We have a Wind Creeper level 10. That could be worth money. I'm not really sure. Light of Redemption, Dark Lord Desire to Super. Oh, Wind Creeper level 9. That could be worth something as well. 9 and 10 Crystal Tree. Interesting pack there. A couple of Wind Karibos. All right, I'm not exactly sure on the value of those cuz I don't pull those very often, but hey, it's probably worth something. Pharaoh Servant. Jinzo, we need you to make this close, make this epic. Come on, Jinzo. And Ghost Rare in this pack. Oh, Kaiba, man. Hey, look, that's a good sign for the Kaiba cards. Z Metal Tank, both Kaiba cards from Legendary Collection. Kaiba, okay. Uh, ooh, Change of Heart. Okay, uh, I don't know if that's worth anything now that it's unbanned. I don't think people are really using it too much, but not bad. Come on, Secret Rare. We have Deep Sea Warrior. We need something big. Kisatai, Drill Bug, Gamble. We're gambling on that Jinzo. Bombardment Beetle. We have Gradius. We have Bite Shoes. They're going to bite your feet. Michizuri, and we have a Dark Fire Soldier Numero Uno. On to the final round of packs, Legendary Collection 2. It's going to be tough for the Legendary Collection uh, 1. Legendary Collection 1 packs repackaged, basically, is what they are uh, to come back. We have Captain Gold, Yuriza, we have Rise of Snake Deity, Clear World Super. Another Flame Wingman. Wow, that's another nice card. Glad to be Octavius. Okay, pretty iffy. We got Ocean. Okay, not terrible. Stratos. Wow, that's a good, that's a good comment. Pretty nice last pack. That's going to be, make it even harder for the Legend Blue Eyes pack to make a comeback. But here it is. And here's the chance to make the comeback. Here we go. You just got to pull something epic. Here we go. Let's do this. Got to make it happen. We have a... Alter Guys Manifestation, a Mythical Beast, um, not great. Uh, okay, we got a Machina Fortress, Machina Fortress. Okay, nothing too crazy there. But we do have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack, which could have the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Exodia, all that stuff could be in here. It needs to be Blue Eyes, I think. One, two, three, four to have a chance. We'll have to see. We have Kumutoko, that's a common. Beaver Warrior, Ace Classic, Silver Fang, and Raigeki, the ultimate combo. Sogan, we have Lesser Dragon, we have the Mountain. Spike Cedra, the Carbonala Warrior, he's very carby, he's trying to avoid those carbs. And, oh, right leg of the Forbidden One, hey! It's a piece of Exodia, we will take that. Ultra Rare, I don't think it wins in the battle, here's the total. But hey, that's still an awesome way to end this opening. If you guys enjoyed this versus video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.